Hey guys, this is Jason with Canyon Adventure Vans. Today I'm going to show you a video on how to set up your platform bed. It's really simple. The only thing you're going to need is a Phillips screwdriver and then the bed obviously. And I'm going to show you how to set it in place, get it all strapped in. And then I'll also show you a couple ways that you can store it as well. All right, so let's get this going. First thing you're going to do is come in here and in your Rebel, if you look up here in this corner, this screw is going to be right here, okay? You're going to take this out. So unscrew that. And then we supply you with this little piece here. And you're going to screw that in so you can hook your strap onto that, okay? So you're going to put your screw in there. You're going to go right back into the same exact hole. So no new holes are being drilled or made in your brand new van. Lock that in nice and tight and it's done. So this will always stay here from here on out. And this little ring so you can hook the strap in, okay? All right, so the next step is, is once that's finished, you got your bed here. You're gonna slide your bed out. This is actually one place that you can store it um, when you're driving. If you have a passenger, it's not gonna work. You're gonna have to keep this in the garage area. Um, you can keep it in the garage. You can put it up on the bed. It does weigh 45 pounds, so it is a little heavy, um, but it's a price that you're gonna pay having a, an extra bed, a comfortable bed, a stable bed in the Rebel. So I'll leave it here. Usually there's just two of us anyways. Um, so first thing I'm gonna do is pick it up and I'm gonna slide it towards myself. Again, it's 45 pounds, but you don't have to fight with it that much. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take off the uh, back cushion of the passenger seat and I'm going to set that right on the floor like so okay and then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to lift this up right on the cushion I'm going to slide this kind of like a I kind of want this end to go out this way and the other end to just kind of slide I'm letting the cushion hold all the weight right now so I'm not even holding any weight I'm just sliding this all the way like that okay so it locks into place if you notice we have we cut out our bed system to go around the uh, pillar there so it's nice and clean next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna lift this up and I want to bring it into here I'm gonna reach around and strap this piece in that's gonna be my next move so I just grab this bring it in here grab this in okay for my strap there it is I'll kind of lean on this and then I'm going to strap this in right there okay that locks it into place the bed is all in the position it's notched out here as well so super clean it gives you the maximum sleeping space okay the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to reach under here and I'm going to grab the next strap and this one is going to go right to the headrest. So you're just going to come in here and hook that to the headrest. There's another one on this side. You're going to do the same thing. You're going to hook that right to the headrest one. Okay? And then there's one more right here. And then you're going to hook that to this headrest. And that's it. If they're a little bit saggy, all you're going to do is come in here and tighten them down a little bit. Tighten it down. You're just going to push this little button right here on the strap, cinch it up, tighten it up. Same thing on this one. You can pull it up a little bit, kind of slide it down. And there you go. That is how you install the platform bed. Super easy, fits perfectly in here. We've tested it, we've had this out for a couple months now. Or actually longer than that probably four months plenty of room very stable and we know this blocks the door so if you want to get up in the morning uh, what my brother-in-law does all the time and it's actually brilliant he, he's the one who did it he just wakes up in the morning comes over here and gets up and gets outside so no big deal. If he's up before I am, that's how he does it. 
So again, you can strap all this in, cinch this down to make it level. You're in complete control of all this. So you can raise it up, lower it down, whatever it is to get it completely flat. And that's it. Now, let me show you how to take it apart. I'll go back in the same way. And it really is a clean looking bed. It's nice, it's supportive. And it gives you a lot of white space. So to tear it down, and let's say I'm spending the night, but we wake up in the morning and we want to move the bed. So I'll leave all the covers on here. I'll slide the covers over and then I'll undo this one here. So I'll kind of lift up, take that one off. I'll do the same thing here, kind of lift up, take the tension off of it. Pop this one off. Okay. And then now I'm going to pop this one off here. So. I'll kind of lift up, put my leg towards it to hold the pressure, and I'm going to take this off, just like so. Now what I'm going to do is drop this to the ground, very simple, letting the passenger bench seat hold all the weight, and then at this point, what I usually do when we're camping is I'll leave it just like that. I'll move these straps obviously out of the way. And I'll just leave it there. All your bedding, your pillows, sleeping bags, sheets, whatever, is all there. Nothing's in the way. I have plenty enough room to be able to work in the kitchen, to walk in and out. I can even get up into the cab area of the van. So that's one way that generally, every time that I've been camping so far, I'll leave it in this position. So it's really that easy. It's time to go to bed. All I do is lift this up, swing it up here, strap it, strap it here, strap it here, and it's done. Make my bed and it's done. Same thing to tear it down. So you saw the first, when we got to camp, it was stored right in front, or you could store it in the back in the garage area, or you can leave it just like this. Obviously, it's not gonna work if you have a third passenger, but um, if you're going with a buddy, a friend, and they want their own bed, grandkids, whatever, this is the spot right here. Um, and that's it. It's 45 pounds, so it is heavy, but once you kind of figure out where to keep it, how to use it, it's a really nice bed system. It's very stable, and it's a great spot to get a really good night's sleep. And again, you have the access to and from the van. If you're up and just need to go outside to go to the restroom, you come back. You don't have to worry about exiting on the side door. So that's it. That's our uh, 2021 platform bed made for the Winnebago Revel 4x4. 2021 and years 2022. So check it out.